My name is Marissa Paul Isaac, and I'll be talking about the aftermath of Hurricane Maria four years later. More specifically, how it affected the locals. Where to start? Let's start with the fact that hundreds of thousands of Puerto Ricans left the island because their basic needs couldn't be met. The final effect of the aftermath is expected to drive out about 80,000 more Puerto Ricans from the island by 2024. In Puerto Rico, tourism income is heavily relied on. According to Business Insider, tourism recovered four times faster than New Orleans after Katrina. Over the past four years, there has been a series of earthquakes in Puerto Rico affecting the recovery process from the hurricane. One of these earthquakes occurred on January 7th of 2020, making a magnitude of 6.4. The people that were most affected from the hurricane is the island's poorest residents. Many of them live in hard to reach places of the mountains and or in more rural communities. They were the last to have electricity restored and regain water. Mercy Corp says that on average, Puerto Rico went 41 days without reception, 65 days without water, and 81 days without power. The island has long power outages one to two times a month. I recently went to Puerto Rico and got to experience this for myself. It lasted roughly about 45 minutes. The next day, I went to a family member's house and they told me that power outages last from five minutes to an hour to even a day. While I was there, I noticed some of the houses still had blue tarps for roofs and most of them are now abandoned due to the same fact on why many people left the island. Either basic needs could not be met or they just couldn't afford to fix the damage done to their homes. The photo I took is of my home in Puerto Rico. A little story on the building in the back. It used to be a prison and during the hurricane, everything flew towards my home and the house next door. My father went after the hurricane had passed to check out the damage done to the house. He said that there were pieces of the building everywhere. We got lucky that it didn't break the roof, but it took a while to clean up. Because of the damage done to the prison, they sold the building and it is now abandoned. So, why did I choose this picture? To show how some people have the support and or funds to be able to fix their homes, while most didn't and had to completely abandon the only place they ever truly knew as home.